Hello and happy Father's Day to all of the wonderful fathers out there. I pray that this is a blessed day for you. I uh, was not as really expecting to do a video today, but I just felt led to encourage people that God is doing some suddenlies. God is doing suddenlies. And this message is not going to be for everyone. If it is for you, it will be a confirming word because of the fact that you have been standing uh, on promises of God. And you stood for a while. Maybe that while for you is a year. Maybe that while, while for you is two or three or more years. But <clears throat> regardless, there's something that God promised. He had not, not manifested it in your life. But I came to tell you today that God is already starting to manifest miracles in the lives of his children that have believed him and stood on what he said. One of the things that I have noticed even just in the past few weeks, is that my health, my health had began to prosper. Now, if you recall, I had been uh, teaching from 3rd John, the first chapter, when it talks about uh, beloved above all, I wish that you would prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So I've been talking, I've been not talking, but I've been teaching about that. And so God has been prospering me in my soul and he's also been prospering me in my health. So I'm so very grateful for what God is doing for me because there are some issues that I had with blood sugar and I had that, that issue for many years where it was just not where it should have been. <clears throat> I'm not trying to make it seem like I was on insulin or anything like that, but it definitely uh, was not what you'd call a healthy whole blood sugar. And so I've noticed what was miraculous in the last week where I had to take a specific medication. I had to take a medication for it, but the Lord has literally like overnight taken me off of that medication. And I want to tell you that it had nothing to do with anything that I did. I wish I could tell you that I was, you know, eating like I should be, making sure that every time I sat down, I always ate the best meals and these types of things. But the truth is, that would be a lie. Because, listen, it was all God. It was all God. I'm just being honest with you. There's many times I sat down to eat. I was not eating. Many times I snacked. I was not snacking on the most healthy foods. So whenever you receive a miracle from God, don't expect that you will have done everything perfect and that's how you're going to receive the miracle. Because, listen, if you can lay hold or lay, lay some type of claim to how this thing comes about in your life, then God doesn't get the glory. You, you actually will be sharing in the glory with him. And that's not how miracles happen. If God is going to do a miracle in your life, it's going to come with him getting all the credit. That's what that word glory means. It means credit. It means all the credit is going to him. All the glory to God. All the credit to God. You're not going to be able to take credit for it. Notice what I just said. My eating habits were not great. I did not always sit down and eat the best meals. I did not always snack on the best snacks. But I'm blessed in that God has set me free from sugar issues and let me tell you something what that did for me because he set me free from that because he set me free from having to uh to take medication because he set me free he set me free in my mind so now that grace that he gave me i'm so thankful for that grace i'm so thankful for what he's done that i don't even have the mentality to go back to eating like i used to like i'm so thankful for what he's done for me that i'm so careful now Listen, I should have been careful before. I'm careful now because I'm so grateful for what he's done for me. You know, listen, I don't have any words for what I have experienced in the last week for what God has done in my health, except to tell you that the word of God is the truth. The word of God, the unadulterated word that what we find in the Bible, that's the truth. Whatever God has promised you, that's the truth. And let me tell you something. In the past three or four years, I've had several words that have come to me 
that God is going to bless me in my health. And I didn't know what that meant because even though I had the issue with my blood sugar, I just, I don't know, I just, I believe God for miracles for other people. But I think for me, it was just hard for me to believe that he would do it for me. And, you know, I'm not by myself with that. I think a lot of times as children of God, we believe he's going to use us to pray for other people and see other people set free. Because the, we always hear that the anointing is not for you. You know, whatever, however God anoints you, it's not for you. It's for other people. So we get caught up in that. Like, I, I can pray for you because you need this. I can pray for you because you need that. But listen, God wants to bless you too. God wants you to be whole. God wants you to be healthy. And so, yeah, this is, this, is a, this is a moment of testimony for me because I'm not just here to encourage you. I'm not just here to give you a word. I'm here to tell you that this is what God has done for me. And just like how he's done it for me, there's many of you, this is not for everybody, but there's many of you, you have been told the same thing. God has sent people, he sent prophets to tell you he's going to do this, he's going to do that. And I'm telling you, he's going to do it. And remember what I just said. It's like he did it overnight. Like he did overnight. I went to see my doctor on a Monday. The doctor was like, you know what? Your labs are your labs are good. I'm not putting you back on this medicine. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I thought the doctor was losing it for a moment. I was like, you know, I've been on this medicine for a while now. I don't feel comfortable with you just taking me off like that. Mind you, everything that I've been told, and it was just even like a few weeks ago that a prophet said to me, God is going to bless your health. God is blessing your health. In fact, he's doing it right now. That's what's worth me. He's doing it right now. And I've been teaching about what? Above all, you prosper and be in what? Health, even as your soul prospers. So my soul is prospering. Praise God. My soul is prospering. So other places are prospering too. You know, I hope that you received that teaching that I did. I did two of them. There was a part one and there was a part two on a healthy, wealthy soul. And I'm so grateful to God that I'm reaping the benefits of 3 John 1 and 2 because I'm seeing it in my own life. He promised that he was going to bless me in my health and I'm seeing him do that. And so for those of you that God has made a promise to, that he's told you that he's going to do something for you, he's going to do something uh, that's going to bless you, he's going to do something that's going to elevate you, believe him. Because I'm here to tell you, this is a time where God is doing things and he's doing it suddenly. So if you have put anything on the back burner and, you know, maybe it's a promise from God because God told you he's going to do it or it's something you've just been praying about and you have just forgotten about it. He has not. And whatever he said he's going to do, he's going to do it. And when he does it for you, be so grateful that everything you do from that day forward is a way of saying thank you to him. So I just wanted to come on and I wanted to share that because this is testimony day for me. So I'm going to be testifying a lot today about what God has done. I'm doing it now and I'm also going to be doing it later through the church that I'm a member of. So I wanted to come on my own page and praise God for what he's done for me. You know, it's a miracle. And it happened suddenly. Believe God for your miracle and believe him even when it manifests in your life. Because I'm telling you, this is an hour where God is manifesting miracles suddenly. If you haven't seen the teachings on the healthy, wealthy soul, go back and watch that because it is so important to God that your soul be right. And he's healing souls in this hour. If you allow him to, he's going to do it. If you're obedient to allow him, he's going to do it. And he's not just healing the soul. He's healing your health. He's, he's bringing about wealth. He's doing those things for people as he has promised. And as you believe him, be blessed in Jesus name. And thank you for watching.